So one of my favorite features of the new truck is obviously this gorgeous sign writing. So that was designed, this design was done by Danny at Def Graphics and she absolutely nailed it. And then the wrap itself was applied um, by Jeremy and his team at Pro Wraps in Penrith. So they've absolutely nailed it, not seen anything like it. Um, yeah, and we just love it. Yeah, we've got a pretty truck now, not a tough truck. <laughs> yeah, something <laughs> different. So I think it fits, fits us to a T. All right, our truck. We are very excited. We have had, at the end of it, we'll do a bit of a spiel about how it went. The build was not exactly to plan, but we've got it and we are stoked with it. Everything about it is has been great so far. We're about to tow with it this weekend and see how it goes. Um, we will just do a walk around and we'll, we'll say what everything is. Obviously the front, we have UHF aerials on the bull bar, a couple of driving lights. We are on our way to Victoria to get our plates changed over to our Oz Gypsies plates. Um, we have a 20,000 pound uh, carbon winch, um, an ultimate, ultimate bull bar. Um, coming around here, I guess we're running the 3717s on it with uh, parabolic, we got the parabolic suspension from ATW with the Oztex um, shocks and the progressive bump stops which make a huge difference uh, and obviously on the roof We've just we've just gone with roof racks instead of the the full full cage. We got 400 of solar up there. Um, and then we come on water filler, 230 liters of water built into the chassis. So we got a kinetic kinetic sump frame from AAV with 200 liters of fuel and 230 liters of water. Um, up up the top. <laughs> on the front we have two spare tires and we've just mounted a bike ramp to get them on and off we were a bit worried about how that would work but Sarah's full of muscles and she actually rolled one up one day when we had them off to check it out so that was that was pretty pretty good so it's not going to be too much of a drama getting them off and on just some side lights up there on the side and we come this side of the canopy this is not the canopy that we were originally going to get as i said at the end we'll do a run through of a few of the dramas that we had um getting this build it was supposed to be quick it didn't quite go to plan as you can imagine um look we've just got drawers in here we probably we may change to a different canopy down the track when we really understand what we need as we are going to start doing some more shows and markets so we might need something a bit different to what we've got just a couple of drawers we've got tools in one hammocks and all that sort of stuff in the other we have like our tables and and fire pits and stuff here for our shows um in the top box here we have yeah you know, tie repairs compressor hoses and all that sort of stuff and gauges the compressors mounted up the top and then we just have our chairs and a table here. So, so I think we've got a full bore compressor. We ha I've tried it out. I went from 30 to 60 in about 40 seconds. This is the other day. So yeah, it's. I think that's going to work really well. We have uh, got the eye eye check. Um, Tire monitors on there. They've, they've been seen to be working fairly well, which is good. They do they do temperature and pressure, so that that works out really well. Under tray boxes, once again, not what we're after, but hey, they they're working and doing all right. We've just got water hoses and stuff in there. We've got the the back box which we put on is for all our show stuff and you know markets and stuff that we're going to start doing a lot more of or we're hoping to. Um, just mount our track shovel and the little fella's motorbike which actually is very good he had his first ride the other day got it for christmas and 
he definitely needs to wear all his gear every time he rides because there's going to be some big accidents i think definitely <laughs> um he kept saying turn it up make it go faster um got this wrist bike bike holder which is brilliant it it wasn't cheap guys it was super probably expensive but no tie down straps it sits there it doesn't move solid as hooked onto the pegs you don't have to have anything mounted on there they, they slide out so then you've got the flat plate on the on the tray so if we want to carry some other stuff we'll we at different times we'll pick stuff up we can uh, tray is not quite as long as it was meant to be but that's all right we'll do it with that yeah uh, at the it's back short and stocky yeah 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 um all train warrior tow bar and winch cradle got a 15,000 carbon winch in the back we do have three cameras on here the one the one that came with the truck doesn't shoot down the winches in the road to see where you're reversing up to hook up so i bought a four pack of wireless cameras put two on here two on the van um hey look while still they're pretty good whilst traveling they're a little bit staticky yeah, but but they will do the job of what we need we did go with the shocker hitch um so hopefully that works out fairly well i was a bit worried about it hanging down but our van doesn't sit as high as what the truck does so it's really no lower than what our van drawbar is anyway so that's not an issue now around here another box just got all our recovery gear and stuff in there um this is the party there. side oh the party side well like i said the box isn't as big as it's meant to be so we did have a little bit of uh bit of working out and we didn't quite get the coffee machine in and that in this one but msa drop down fridge slide works fairly well just another drawer here with our cooking cooking stuff utensils plates all that sort of stuff for when we are just cooking out of the truck soda stream mounted up we've got a oven air fryer griller thing that we've put in 240 volts so that works really well the oven was um just one from audi's so it works brilliantly you can put a rotisserie in it as well um and yeah it does you know steam and have a bunch of different functions so that's definitely a favorite for me yep so we do have 240 in here i'll show you all that big shout out oh. to john from lost in the right direction Mate, he was amazing he came here to because the truck was supposed to arrive for the fourth time um drove like eight and a half hours to come here to do it and the truck didn't turn up so then they went away and then they came back again and just mate, he, he just sorted out what was needed um killed himself for four days to get it done but we've got you know he hooked up the solar 240 the batteries you know solar charger dc to dc everything so that's worked out really well um got a just a switch touch button switch panel to turn everything on and off so it stays out of the road um keeps it pretty good because we're limited for space so we have put all the electrical system in the truck so if we do change the back we basically just unplug it put a new back on and replug the other stuff in so that works out fairly well got a bit of a homemade uh homemade drawer up here which comes out and then drops down to an angle so we can get things out of there but yeah no she's pretty uh pretty pretty full um <laughs> yeah that's uh, for sure that is about it oh and here's the uh so obviously the um normal 100 litre fuel tank then uh, up here uh, another filler for the 200 litre diesel tank both the water there is the water outlet on the back um, both the diesel tank and the water tank are all switched in the cab with gauges and stuff like that so you know that worked out really well i really like that that part we'll also show you guys um where john cut into my lovely brand new truck and ran um the power system and how they've mounted the batteries as well yeah all right so let's have a little look inside under the seats so we've got everything in under the seats in here all right so 330 of lithium battery 
we've got the Renergy Solar Charger and the Red Arc, which came out of our Ranger, DC to DC. And that seems to be going very well with the 400 on the roof. The panels from Renergy are really, really good. They are pumping in heaps. We were quite surprised at how much they're pumping in. Don't ask me, I can't remember how much, but it was pretty impressive. We've got two switches. There's, there's isolating switches there for each winch. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's that. We'll, uh, we have the raised breathers for the diffs and gearbox and all that sort of stuff. We also have put a front front diff lockers in. Um, yeah. What else? What's there, Sarah? Well, oh, I don't know. The we'll show. Um, you've shown the batteries and everything. We'll yeah. show you. And I was horrified, <laughs> but it works very, very well the way the boys have set this up. So when coming around this side, uh, and just in here, we've got um, inlet. Inlet if we want to charge. Yep. And then obviously the outlet, um, 15 amp outlet going to the back. So that is all nice and tidy and fairly good. There is another thing down here on the Fuzos. The water overflow is generally way sticks out out here in the middle of nowhere and I did have concerns about uh, rocks and that smashing in smashing that up so we mounted that back in against the chassis so yeah all right so we'll have a look inside look inside here so oh well here we go so we've got our uh, that's the on off for the inverter and obviously our battery mono monitor. Right, so inside the cab. Oh, oh we've got a 3000 watt inverter in the back as well. I missed that bit. Um, where the gauge up here tells us our water and fuel for our, our extra tanks uh, in, the, in the subframe. So that we can switch here on the dash, which switches between water and petrol, turn the pump on for the water, pump on transfer pump on for the for the fuel. Um, obviously, can't see out the back. Haven't got a mirror, so we've got a hemer and our monitor for the four cameras. <coughs> uh, red arc, red arc brake controller, driving lights, all that sort of stuff. We have the I check monitor there. Now, Sarah's favorite part of the truck, I think, other than the sign writing, is her seat. Was a pretty crazy seat. It has two adjustable armrest pumps in there for adjusting the pressure and everything. The truck's a bit dirty after the last couple of days. Um, we have the console, which got made up when we had the seats changed out, which is pretty cool. There's like plenty of room in here. For all the things that we may need cameras and stuff like that which makes it easy access and the drone and things and the radio um, that's about it in here um, the actual navigation on the for the truck is actually really good and you can set heights and weight limits and everything and it we found it to be great so far probably better than any of the ones that you buy actually um that's that's about it for inside guys we uh, actually had to refilm this because we missed it uh or button got pushed or something and we're at the camp out now you can see a couple of us here lost in the right direction john and sylvia hunter cruz uncle dad salute with barge and brie and the kids are here already we're here pretty early uh, me and Sarah are about to do a little bit of a chat about why we got the truck and, you know, why we think it's a good thing and, and how, how we've gone our first, you know, thousand kilometre trip in it. Okay, guys, so if you've made it this far through our video, thanks. Um, I guess we just wanted to touch on some questions we've received, um, you know, why we went the truck. Um, where we purchased it, what our experience was. Um, so basically, why we bought the truck um, over, say, a Ram or um, a different tow vehicle.
Oh, okay. Uh, well, price did come into it. You know, we probably saved a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. A difference between the truck or a twenty five hundred because we would have had to have gone to twenty five hundred to be able to look at like the work stuff and that we were looking at doing. Um, and then the upgrades to a twenty five hundred, we would have had to have still had a GVM upgrade. We would have had to have you know like suspension upgrade, and, and we would have done wheels and tires. Um, yeah. For for our personal thing, and so that it was a bit more capable off road, um, because it had a nine hundred kilo payload, like as standard could tow tow heaps, but only a nine hundred kilo payload, which only gave us two hundred kilos more than what we had in the Ranger. Um, yeah, so I think ultimately it just came down to, um, yeah, car like carrying capacity and bang for our buck, really. And, and the off-road capabilities too. Yeah. We, like, we, we, we love being off the beaten track and the truck is going to do it better than a 2500 Ram or Chev. Yeah. You know, well, we think it will, maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> we'll probably get bogged a lot. Probably, stay tuned for that. Um, so we purchased the truck from RGM in Rockhampton. Um, look, we had a very interesting experience uh, dealing with them. Um, RGM, uh, so that we could get our truck within a set time frame, did a lot of the work themselves, um, like the tray and that kind of thing. So, so we so we bought bits from AAV, bits from ATW. You know, we sat in the office and, and it was all about time. We had been we had been calling in everywhere, looking at trucks, rams, everything over the, the past eight months, uh, or pre the eight months leading up to buying it, and we couldn't get anyone to supply it, or it was like, geez, that's not really going to work for us. Um, these guys sat down, we were on phone calls with AAV. When could this get done, or when could this be supplied? ATW, when could you know wheel suspension, everything get supplied? And by going through these guys, they do it all themselves, so you're not waiting for a build date. You know they haven't got the demand on them. Um, we we did have some negative experiences, like anything. Um, obviously, our build date just did get pushed out. Um, originally, I think the truck got the truck got changed from being. It got partly built in Rockhampton, then it went to, ended up in Brisbane to get finished. Look, by, you know, I probably would. Look, I definitely, um, we ended up, we ended up, have done a lot of dealings with with the owner of the company, the principal, yep. and mm. and he, look, he's been amazing. He has sorted, sorted our issues out. Yep. He has made it so that we're happy, even with all, all the things that have- Gone wrong. Gone wrong. Now, now, I put it down to, look, the salesman was a nice guy, but I don't think he kept his finger on the ball with it. It went to Brisbane, where they're not building these things all the time. If you're after one, get Rockhampton, I would say definitely get it from Rockhampton. The, the work the guys did at Rockhampton with the centre console and, and putting yeah. all the stuff together was, was the, great the work. The craftsmanship ultimately, um, yeah, is very good. We just had a few experiences and we just wanted to touch on that. Um, but yeah, I, I second what Matt's already said. Um, if you're in the market for a truck, the, R the RGM guys are great. Um, if you do opt to go with them building um, or supplying and fitting as against, say, AAV or ATW, then, um, yeah, our, our personal recommendation would be to do that through Rockhampton. Hey, look, I, I, and the thing is, we were told we could get a truck from like these other mobs, but we still got, and even with the drums, we still got this truck six months earlier than what we were even hoping that we had even half a chance of getting get yeah. going through them guys and it also gave gave us the opportunity to put the things that we liked from each of those main builders into the truck yeah you know yeah definitely. so um so i guess the other thing too is why um why a fuso um over say some of the other ones in the market as well i think like Supposedly, off-road capability of them is is a bit better and a bit better flex and things like that. Um, comfort, I definitely think the comfort in it is is better and just your seating position and stuff. I like I like a bit more. Um, would I like a bigger engine? Yes, I would. We have now done a thousand kilometres towing. Yeah. And I'm pretty impressed. Like we. Uh, 
had people behind us and they were quite surprised at how it was going up the hills on the freeways and stuff. Look, if you get a really strong headwind or really steep pinches, mate, you're down. It's a truck. It's not, it's not a race thing, but the ride in it, we've had the parabolics and everything put in and we had it delivered without that in and then have had that put in since and the ride is just yeah, yeah amazing. Yeah, makes a huge difference. Yeah. It's definitely not as rough as I thought it would be. Um, yeah, I've been quite impressed at the, the comfort in the truck. Sarah does um, have a pretty special seat. I do, she as, definitely as is we've much, seen. She's definitely much more comfortable than me. But, <laughs> but I don't find it really, I don't find it any rougher ride than what the Ranger was. No, no, I don't either, to be honest. You know? Um, yeah, well, so I guess another reason for getting the truck, um, as some of you may or may not be aware, is we've started expanding into doing markets. Um, and we needed to carry, you know, a whole lot of stock. So as you would have seen earlier in the video, um, we've got our big canopy uh, and then we've got a smaller box of mounted on the back, which is for that. So Because um, we didn't get the boxes that we were meant to get. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that's, I guess, another reason for going that way. Um, it, open, it opens our options to earning money on the road. Yeah. And and opens them options enormously to what we can. Yeah, can, can't and do. to just keep funding funding our travels yeah really. and sarah really wants a boat so we we can get a boat with the truck we can put a boat on and, and we don't have to think about it so yeah and the off-road capabilities about well, we, we are heading to wa and we probably will be in wa for a fair while well i, I know, was gonna knows? open with that at the end of the video but the cat's out of the bag so our plans for 2024 is yeah obviously to head over west um and spend a great deal of time there maybe so. a couple of couple of years beach hopping yeah so definitely. so obviously the fishing thing you know is what's entire helped entice us to go truck wise as well yeah definitely and that we can tow and, and the likelihood of us getting stuck on beaches with the van on is a lot less in this than it would be the ranger yeah yeah 100 percent um yeah, so I guess, uh, Matt, you could probably talk on this, the fuel economy at the moment. So it seems to be, you know, look, we've, we've do, we did a thousand kilometres, big trip, like, we're like banging it down. We're on the freeway for a, a long time, you know, at a hundred kilometres an hour, which is, you know, probably not ideal for it. But, you know, I'm thinking it's around the 22, 23 yep. um, litres per hundred, which constant like that thousand kilometers has been at 100 kilometers an hour basically um so it's not been let up on and yeah so i think that's pretty good i mean we'll, we were pushing with this fan we noticed that the the ranges went went up and like we were pretty much always in 19s 20 21 in that yeah. even so to me it's it's a no-brainer it's it's not even a consideration like you just put petrol in it and away you go yeah um and something else that we have had asked is how does zeppelin find the truck um unfortunately he's off playing so he can't answer it for himself um but he is stoked he's got so much extra room in the back um yeah it's yeah we just love it oh he's got room so we used to have so much stuff in the back there was enough room for him to sit yeah. in the ranger Whereas now we've got a couple of tubs in there with like beach stuff, some toys. He's got yeah. like a little desk thing. And so he can sit in there. He's got plenty of room to stretch out. He's yeah. much more comfortable in there. He can get in and out of it. Yes. Um, we've, he can open the door too. But, just. Uh, but yeah, just if it's on the right angle. Um, so yeah, it is a, it can be a little bit of a struggle him getting in and out of it but you know i mean he's only getting bigger he's not getting smaller that's exactly right um look i think we've probably covered most of the questions we've had or um yeah yeah and if anyone's got, got any a, questions yeah. to go hey what did you do here or or how does this go or or, or anything like that and, hey just punch a message through to us and yeah, yeah we'll, we'll gladly help out you know mate anyone anyone that's around where we are that wants to have a drive to see where they like it mate i'm, I'm all, all for it yeah definitely so um hey thanks for watching and uh we'll catch you in the next one